Good morning children. So I am here to teach you third standard second language English chapter 3 continuation. You remember children in my previous chapter I thought about celebrations and I am sure that you must have been planning what, how and what you will do for your birthday. Correct? Your birthday celebration. And then we we also seen about religious festivals and then we saw about national festivals and how we celebrate them. I gave you a homework, remember? I asked you to check in the dates and the months of the national festivals. So let before I can begin, let me take you to page number 34 and then you tell me which are the dates and the months. Let's check. Okay. Now, Teacher's Day. Tell me, when do you celebrate Teacher's Day? Yes. It's on 5th September. Okay. And then, who's this? Who's this person? Betkar Jayanti. So when do we celebrate Ambedkar Jayanti? Did you get it? Right. 14th April. And then this one. Who's this? I know you know this picture. You will identify. Yes. Jawaharlal Nehru. Okay. So Children's Day. Yeah, we are all fond of Children's Day. 14th November. Okay. And this one, Gandhi Jayanti, 2nd October. Got it. So now what you have to do is, since you have learnt to say the month and the date, I want you to write down in this blanks. Remember, you should use Capital letters for months of the year. Done. Now we will move on. I'm going to tell you a small little story. Okay. A little story I'm going to tell you. Two boys were playing. They both were friends. And so one day these two friends said, Let's go and play in the garden or let's play on the field. And so they were thinking, what shall we play? And they thought, okay, we'll play with the ball. Okay. And this little boy, they love to play outdoor games. You know, children, those days we love to play outdoors games. It's fun to play outdoor games. Nowadays, children, you know, they just like indoor games, like playing in the mobile. Such a boring game. You go out and you see what fun you'll have. Okay? You'll really enjoy playing outside. Try it. All those who are at home, please go out and start playing. Okay? But take your parents' permission and play with your friends. Okay? So now these two boys, they decided to go and play in the field. So they took a nice little ball, shiny little ball, and they started to, they said, let's play. And so they were throwing the ball, one person to the other, and the other person to the other. And as they were playing, suddenly the ball rolled into a hole. Okay, the ball rolled into a hole. And... One boy who was very clever, so both the boys, sorry, both the boys came and they were wondering now, how do I take this ball? This hole is so small and the ball is gone right in. And so they're trying to put their hand and the hand is not going inside. How will they get this ball? One of the boys was very clever. One of the boys was very clever. He thought for a while and then you know what he did? 
he ran and went and bought, brought a bucket of water. Now, I don't have a bucket, okay? So, he brought a bucket of water and you know what did he do? He poured the water into the bowl. And you know what happened? Just see what happened. Yes, the ball came right up. You know, he was a young boy, a small boy of that age. Imagine his, what knowledge, what understanding you would have had that if he poured water, the ball would come up. The same story you must have heard when you were very small. Remember what's the story? Remember children when you were in nursery, LKG, UKG, first standard, all the teachers tell you about the story. Not only teachers, even your parents would have told you. Yes, what's the story? The thirsty crow. You know the crow was flying and then he wanted water and then he seen a pot. You remember that story? Imagine, this little boy compared, he thought, he recollected what he learned. And look, when the ball came up, he was, they were so happy. Right, children? And you know who this boy was? This boy's name was Nehru. Right? That was Nehru when he was small. You know Nehru was such a brilliant child. He was not only a brilliant child, he was also born in a very wealthy, rich family. But he never even once thought, I'm born in a rich family, I can live a lavish life. No, 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 no. He was a boy who was very, very smart, who was hardworking, who always loved to play around with little children, with his classmates. He made time to study and write books even while he was very, very young. And now we are going to learn what did Nehru do. Okay? Nehru, he took as he grew, he was such a learned person. He learned so much. And then he loved his country a lot. And so, during the independent fight, he was part of it. Okay? He, along with Gandhiji, fought for our independence. You know, many times, Nehru, Jawaharlal Nehru was put in prison. Even there he never wasted time. You know that? He was writing letters. Such a person he was. And whenever Nehru was around, you know he had such a wonderful nature, loving nature, that he showed so much of affection to children. And children used to run towards Nehru. And when, in the year 1947, after all that independent fighting, when India became independent, when we, in 1947, when India became independent and then we celebrated our Independence Day, you know who? This great person became the first Prime Minister of Independent India. Who is that great person? Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. And as I told you, he had such a wonderful nature, people used to run to him, children used to run to him. And so, all the children used to call him Chacha Nehru. You know why Chacha? Suppose 
you have something in your house, okay, uh, uh, a get together. And then what you'll do, you'll always be around your uncle, 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 uncle. Get me this, uncle, do, do this, uncle, do that. You know, because you love your uncle and your uncle will get you what you want and your uncle will play with you and your uncle will carry you. And so you go on uncle, 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 mama, 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 right? Isn't it? Like that was Nehru. So people call it, children call him Chacha Nehru. Or famously he was called as Chacha G. Got the children? And you know, I'm going to read the lesson to you from page number 13, where you'll understand what he did. And why is this day, that is 14th of November, so important to us? Shall we read on page number 14? And then I will give you an explanation. And later on, I'm going to, we are going to sing a song for you. Okay? So let's read page number 14. Page number 30. Let's read. Now let's read and understand the lesson on Children's Day celebration. You know now why it says... Let's see about Children's Day celebration and then there's a separate lesson about it because you are children and the most thing that we love is Children's Day and our birthdays. Correct children? So let's move on. Children are the best gifts of God to the parents. Children's Day in India is celebrated on November 14th of every year. November 14th is the birthday of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. As a tribute to Jawaharlal Nehru and his love for his children, for children, his birthday is celebrated all over India as Children's Day. Look at this children. Jawaharlal Nehru was always found or most of the times found playing with children. One thing that he understood our children are an asset to the country. They are a gift to the country. They are the future of the country. And he not only knew that, but he showed lavish love upon them. And that is why since Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru loved children so much, he wanted to mark it as an important day that the entire nation could celebrate. And that is why his birthday, that is 14th November, is celebrated throughout India as Children's Day. Children affectionately called Jawaharlal Nehru, Chacha Nehru or Chacha Ji because he was fond of both children and roses. He said that children are like the buds in a garden. Imagine children. He is comparing just imagine children. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru is comparing a child to a rose. Wow! Isn't that something Amazing, beautiful. You know, a rose is such a delicate flower. And it's so beautiful. If we get a rose, we are just not going to throw it in a corner. But we will carry it so carefully. And then we'll put it in our flowers. And we'll keep it so well. And when the bud blooms, it looks so beautiful. And the scent and the aroma that it gives... It's, it's so nice. 
and he says he's comparing a child to a rose don't you think think and see are we children like that today today's children if it if they ever think that i'm a little bud that will bloom into a beautiful rose i mean your life will be so beautiful so good every bad character if you could change into something that is good that would be so nice children okay let's move on so they should be carefully nurtured children are the future of the nation and the citizens of tomorrow he felt that children are the real strength of our country on children's day schools have cultural programs games and these are managed by students themselves you know what pandit jawaharlal nehru is trying to tell he is saying these children have to be nurtured taken care of very well not only by the parents not only by the teachers but also by the nation but also by the country because today's children are tomorrow's citizens today you are children but tomorrow you children will be ruling the world some of you here who are listening to the lesson may be scientist maybe some of you are good dancers maybe some of you are good singers maybe some of you are one are watching are good players who can play very well maybe cricket football kabaddi whatever field some of you may be good artist some of you may be good mimic those who can do good mimicry you know children talking is also a talent if you can talk very well if you could make real good jokes even that's an asset to the country okay you can be the future ministers of our nation and that is why he says now you are a bud but when you blossom you will be something that is useful you may be in standard 3 but it's time now for you to know what you want to become got it children nehru was so small he had everything that he had he was rich but he was not quiet every minute he thought what i can do with myself how i can be a better person don't you children can each one of us be the best people that we can every lesson that we learn is just not a lesson but we learn something so that we will apply it for ourselves and move on towards progress so let me move on to what did he mean by the next thing so he says children are a strength okay and you know listen we have also celebrated children's day right in our school and you must have noticed that all our bigger children class 5 class 6 class 7 what do they do they are the ones who organize a program you know you have you must have noticed them children are anchoring then we have elections then children are being selected the student union body you know why we all why we do all that to show you that capacity lies in a child so if we can tap into that capacity i know that each one of you will prove yourself to be one of the best is that clear children our names also should be written right children okay now we'll go on to page number 31 teachers perform various cultural activities for their beloved students and you know children teachers they just love children today we are all teachers because we love you a lot okay children right now i'll move on to new words tribute means respect 
affection, love, fond, like, nurture, take care, but little one of fly. Okay, little fly it is. Now, what I want you to do is read page number 30 clearly, loudly. Underline the words that you find it difficult and I will explain to you in my next class. As of now, we will teach you one song. It's a nice song based on Children's Day. I want you to listen to that song two or three times and then practice the song and send it to me on the voice recording. So I'll call Rohini ma'am to help me to sing the song. Colored festoons everywhere, people showing how much they care. Shaking hands and smiling to good wishes all to you and you. Colored festoons everywhere, people showing how much they care. Shaking hands and smiling to good wishes all to you and you. We think of Chacha on this day, his love for us will always stay. This day is just the day for us as we celebrate our children's day. Colored festoons everywhere, people showing how much they care. Shaking hands and smiling to good wishes all to you and you. Bringing pasta to our mind was Chacha's birthday you will find. He loved children with all his heart from them he never liked to part. Colored festoons everywhere, people showing how much they care. Shaking hands and smiling to good wishes all to you and you. Colored festoons everywhere, people showing how much they care. Shaking hands and smiling to good wishes all to you and you. Happy Children's Day! So here children, these are the words. You can pause it. Write down the words on a paper. Learn to sing the song. Once you're done with singing, send it to me on the voice recording. So I'm waiting children for your voice recording. Okay? Done. I will meet you in my next class giving a clear explanation of the children's day and the difficult words. Okay children? Until then, bye-bye. See you.